right, good morning. It is Friday morning, September 29th, and it is a pool day. We're gonna get our pools on and get on with the day because we got things we gotta do, <laughs> like everyone else in the world. <gasps> Let's get our workout done and then get on with the day. Pool's coming up. All right, first up, warm-ups. I have the actual X3 band, black band on there. I'm gonna do some warm-ups with that. And then today I'm going to do the serious steel black band instead of the yellow band. I just don't want to overload my deadlifts. So we're just going to work into some high rep uh, fatigue with the serious steel black band. We're going to warm up with the X3 band right now. All right, that was 10 nice, easy, slow reps. Really trying to shrug the shoulders, get everything kind of loosened up and getting a feel in it. We're gonna switch over, we're gonna do the serious steel black band, which is a little bit more tension than the X3 band. That's what we're going with today. All right, deadlift with the serious steel black band. Really wanna feel these in the lats. Really wanna pull hard with the lats. Just take this slower time with the tempo with this. It's not as hard to get up, obviously, as the yellow band. So we're going to really work on fatiguing the lats. That sucks, and I'm gonna start over. My thumb keeps getting caught on my shorts. I need to find some different shorts when I'm doing this. Maybe wear some, just some skin tight shorts so my hands aren't getting caught on this. So I'm gonna switch over and put the, the straps on so I don't lose my grip. Oh. <sighs> 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 
Oh, oh. Oh. All right, that was good. I did 10. Uh, little break and set up. Used the straps. Did 15. Really, once I got up to the top, keeping that tension constant in the lats as you're coming back down and then coming back up. Just trying to keep all that tension as much as you can. And my back, whoo, and the back is fired up. Oh, we got bent rows coming up. All right, bent rows, short bar, blue series steel band. We're gonna do pronated over the top. Nice and slow, let's burn them up. Ooh. 22 with those. Really try to get into the peak contraction, squeezing the lats in the back as hard as you can, keeping that tension as the band is lowering, keeping that tension constant and coming back up again. It's just squeezing hard as you can, and it drains you so fast. Whew. We're gonna give Seed of Rose a try again. See how this feels. Oh. 
I got 20. I was trying to get fancy, but the, the grip set up here it just didn't quite work. So just doing them with super eight hands over the top was plenty good. Really trying to keep that contraction constant the whole time in your back. Especially once you start getting that fatigue, really work on that lower range of range and keep the tension constant. Whew. Fifteen good. Still rehabbing the right knee. We'll be doing some foam roller on it this weekend. And I jumped back up to the X3 black band on this. A little bit more tension, a little bit more work in the fifteen limited fifteen reps that I'm doing. Left leg, 15 reps. Nice, slow, and controlled to make the last few burn. I always try to make the async jerk coming back down longer and harder than the push to coming up. It's like doing bunches of negatives. All right. That concludes the X3 portion of my workout. I did uh, deadlifts, I didn't do with the yellow band today. Really wanted to work on more, He's actually activating the lats a lot more than just trying to get that damn thing up. Really worked on rolling the shoulders, actually activating the lats a lot when you're coming up with that black band. I started warming up with the X3 black band, which I could tell is a lot less tense than the Sirius Steel black band. So there's more tension and that series still back there. It could be because I've used the X3 for almost two years. And I just started using this series steel band several months ago. But it could be also just the way that they're made also. Then I did uh, bent rows, pronated with the blue. Really just trying to activate those lats as much as you can and keeping that tension as constant as possible while you're coming up. Especially while you're going back down, you want to do a negative. Hold that band back as much as you can. And then I 
experimented with my cedar rose. Really like finishing those out. Still working on getting a good form and burn on that. I'll tinker with that a few little bit more to see if I can get it to burn a little bit more. Kind of like when you're at the gym and you're just really rolling on those things. I like it better when your hands are like this. You can really get it down low and really activate those lats when you're coming here. So I don't know, I'm gonna figure something out to maybe hook the bands up with uh, my T-bar if I can find it. It's in the garage somewhere. <laughs> I haven't used it for years. I haven't been to the gym in years. Uh, then I finished off with split squats. I jumped up to the X3 black band. Um, it's just, I wanted more tension uh, in the limited 15 reps that I'm doing right now. Uh, like I said, still rehabbing the right knee and hip. And I'll be doing some foam rollers this weekend to try and loosen it up some more. Last weekend, whew, they were hurting. They were, man, I was almost crying out there, especially rolling on that IT band, just trying to get that loosened up. And that's what my issue has been with my knee is that right leg has been a lot tense, especially playing disc golf a lot. When you throw, you land on that front leg and you twist. So doing that also with doing the X3 constantly, put a lot of tension into that right leg. The left leg, not so much because you're not landing on that left leg. I'm not throwing left, left-handed. So I need to work on that right leg with the foam roller and get it loosened up some more. And then I can start going up again on the, the, la the split squats. Anyway, that's it for the pull portion of the, the workout today. I'm gonna get set up and I'm gonna get my hammers and my uh, skull crushers done with and then get on with the day. Get it done, go live your life, and I will see you in the next video.